Hello and welcome to Five Year Club, video number 237. Uh, back in 2014, I gave up on having any credit cards and I haven't had really any significant problems with that until this past week when I went to rent a vehicle uh, to go on a trip. And what happened was I went to the counter um, and, you know, they said, like, let me see your card and I gave them my debit card and, you know, there were thousands and thousands of dollars in the bank account and they said, oh, we don't accept debit cards. We only accept credit cards. And, um, you know, the hold uh, that they were going to put on the card was a hold, I believe, for the uh, just the price of the rental, which was around $600. And I had way more than $600 in the account. But they would not accept my debit card at all. No way. They would not accept um, placing a larger hold on my debit card. They would only accept a credit card. Uh, so that sucked because what it meant was that I uh, was screwed with my rental, with my plans, and you know we we had to get going. Now, luckily, um, one of the people going on the trip had a credit card, and we were able to use their credit card uh, to cover that deposit. But it was a pain in the butt because they then put the rental in that person's name which meant that that person was liable for damage to the truck legally instead of me, which is not what I wanted and not how the trip was like set up. So that was crappy. And I just, I wanted to, um, I just wanted to uh, relate this situation because it's a real thing that happened to me as a consequence of not having a credit card. Why? So why would the company do this? Why would the company basically turn down my business and make it more difficult for me to give them money just because I have a debit card? And the reason is because most people have are, are further from their credit limit, right? So there are more. There's more money until they hit their credit m limit than their than they have in their bank account. So in other words, you might have a credit limit of ten thousand dollars, but only two thousand dollars in your bank account. And if you only have a balance of a thousand dollars in your credit card, that's nine thousand dollars of headroom with a credit card versus only uh, you know two thousand dollars in your bank account so um, well I mean this and so that's the reason why they do it it's a it's a it's a business reason it, it has to do more with the crappy financial state of the US than it has to do with that being a good uh, a good money thing for the business to to depend on instruments of debt instead of you know actual cash money I mean in my case they could have taken out a deposit for you know, five times the cost of the rental easily. And it just, it wasn't in their policy. So that wasn't an option for them. What this mean? And, and by the way, I had rented from these same people for the past five years. So this was a new policy that they put into place. And uh, it's a bummer. Um, I put on the screen now uh, a description of their policy. So it says, May I prepay my rental? Absolutely, you can save on your car rental expenses at most U.S. and Canadian locations. This wasn't true for me. When you reserve and prepay toward your rental online at budget.com with a credit or debit card. Online is the easy way to reserve and pay. Or if you prefer, reserve on budget.com and pay in full when you return your car. Now here's the issue. The issue is that even if you prepay, even if you pre prepay the cost of the rental, they will still want a credit card to put a hold on for potential damage. So for example, if they if the car is dinged, right? Or if the car returns like super duper dirty or like, you know, if you don't return the car with gas, they want something to put hold on and they only apparently trust credit cards to put that hold on. And so you can prepay the rental, you'll still be screwed if you only have a debit card at this particular rental location. And then, you know, I also, because I, I think it's crazy, can I pay with cash? Can I pay for a car rental with cash? Cash is not accepted. When you return your car, you may pay for your final rental costs with credit or debit card. However, to release a car to you at rental pickup time, you must provide a deposit using a credit card or at some locations, a debit card. Um, this is, I mean, I think I understand why they would do this. Like, if you're just paying with cash, then they do not have as good a lock on your identity um, than if you are paying with a debit or a credit card that you know has more addresses and things and history and you know a credit check and things that are associated with you. So I, I can kind of get that. 
But I think I would still argue that if somebody brings in enough cash, you should take the cash. Um, I'm not sure how much rental car stealing is a thing. I guess I could look that up. Uh, so what is the path moving forward for me? Well, the path moving forward for me is I now need to uh, call and check on the policies of rental car places because I'm sure there are still rental car places that accept debit cards for these deposits. Um, and that should not be a po that shouldn't be a a problem for me moving forward. I am I'm really annoyed with this. I'm really quite annoyed with this. I guess another thing moving forward is I could find a, a friend with a, a credit card um, to handle this part of the log logistics of the trip. Um, that's like I see that as like a temporary fix because of course like I want no bullshit with rental cars in the future, regardless of what kind of trip it is. Um, but for this particular trip, since I already do a lot for it, there are just like internal reasons why that would be a practical thing to do. Uh, who knows? Uh, I think calling ahead and determining which rental providers uh, will service debit cards, that's my number one. Hopefully if enough people do this going forward, then this obsession with credit uh, will decrease and uh, the car rental biz business will become easier to handle. Um, but I have now butted up against the car rental uh, credit card problem at least once in my life. Uh, partially my fault because I didn't um, put it on my list to check ahead of time that they still accepted debit cards. And I knew, you know, just in theory that it could be an issue. But it hadn't been before, so it didn't bother. Uh, well, that's it. You know, just being honest about life without a credit card. Uh, this is something that can happen. I was able to get through it. I was able to work through it. It only delayed my trip by about 30 minutes. So, um, yeah, that's that. Have a fabulous evening.